Hi guys, Zin here to a new Let's Play. This time we're doing American Skatelands for the GBA. Not DS, we're doing DS afterwards. We are doing the GBA version first because, you know, we've ordered the GBA version of all these games. And for this one, this is like American Wasteland's GBA game, which American Wasteland, for some reason, came to handheld is what's called American Skateland. So I don't know why the change, but that's what they went with. Gonna choose my uh, character here. You can only choose their skin or whatever. And uh, we start off in Coho's, which I believe this game is the only time we ever see this area called Coho's. And Coho's is just a tutorial area. It's like a small box, a few little bits here and there. And uh, it just acts as a tutorial with Tony here. There are gaps here. But another thing about this game is that even though there are gaps here, and even though every other GBA game so far has had a gap checklist, this one does not. And I don't know why. You'd think it would have a gap checklist, because all the other ones do, but this one doesn't. In fact, despite the fact that Fug 1 and 2 kept adding shit over and over again and kept adding more and more stuff to the game and kind of making like a clusterfuck, this game honestly removed a lot, which, considering it's American Wasteland GBA, not a shocker, honestly. Anyway. Tony here is just going to be showing us the ropes of how everything works out, you know, how to jump, how to do flip tricks, how to do manuals, how to do grinds and, you know, lip tricks and shit. He'll also show us how to do a burt slide, uh, which, uh, also, by the way, different costume and all for some reason, the cutscenes and what it looks like right now. But, um, yeah, he'll show us how to do a burt slide, and... In the main game of American Wasteland, Burt Slides were utterly useless. You would never use them in-game. The Burt Slides in this game are different. Because they act a lot more broken than they did in the actual American Wasteland game. You have to essentially use the manual here, like so. And then you would have to do a combination of your L button and then left to right while in the manual to do a Burt Slide. And Burt Slides kind of count as special moves in this game because they got the yellow text. But not only that, but you can just kind of abuse the fuck out of them to where you can do it over and over again. However, you do have to watch out for your manual balance bar because it will jump around a bunch. But otherwise, you can legitimately just be an absolute prick about it and just fucking do shit tons of bird slides and it would all count into your combo. By the way, even though this game has no gap checklist, it does have some unlockables in a way. Uh, let's do with our main character here, our creative character. Because we can unlock stats, as you can see that we have the stats. And we can also unlock, you know, clothing and, you know, boards and shit. So we can unlock things. Right now we just have our shitty creative board, which I haven't done anything with. And our default look. Here we go, the bird slide. Manual, hold L, and then press auto left or right. There you go, it's a bird slide. And because of that, you can just do that over and over and over again during a combo. And you would get a shit ton out of it. And the thing is, Tony here does not actually tell you anything. It's not how to tell you how to lip trick, to tell you how to do, you know, a lot of moves, honestly, that you think you would have to learn. No, the game just kind of passively tells you it uh, when you get into the main stuff. So this one just kind of maybe tells you the basics. Those also have to do a burt slide, which isn't a basic move. So. Okay then, game. Then again, when it comes to missions, you have no reason to actually do Burt Slides at all. It doesn't apply to any actual mission, it's just for score's sake. Anyway, now we're in Hollywood. Uh, we never see co-hosts again in uh, story mode, we can't access co-hosts anymore. But now, we can, uh, you know, be in Hollywood, how we actually start in a way. And hey, it's Mindy! Mindy is very different in her looks here than she was in the actual game. 
a lot more goth punk than uh, she is just regular punk. But um, yeah, now we just do, you know, the star manual thing and all. Here's the thing, guys. Even though there are gaps here, and yeah, I got a stat point for that. That's how you get your stat points. Certain goals get your stat points. Other goals get your unlockables. So yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, if you get a certain amount of goals done, menu will appear, and then you continue on the story mode from there. So yeah, that's how this will work out the entire time. So here's the big thing about this, and oh, here we go. So. One thing we're going to have to learn about is, uh, you know, having to gain out of a, uh, you know, a ramp, which is the same button as spine transferring, L and R. And then there's, you know, the revert button, we already know about that, I believe. And then there is, um, flatland tricks, which I believe are only, like, left and right, maybe. And there are also special tricks, which... You get from the get-go. You get all the special tricks from the get-go. You only have four special tricks overall for every skater. And they're all the same special tricks, I believe. So, um, that's great. And yeah, there it is. Another thing we need to learn about is shadows. AKA, this game sucks when it comes to shadows compared to a lot of other GBA Tony Hawk games. So you can't fucking tell what the freaking, where anything is sometimes. You can't tell if you're close to an item or not, because you just have to guess, essentially. And, uh, that sucks. And yeah, we got pants. So, yeah, we can unlock a lot of clothing, and I'll be going through all of that shit when we get pretty much near the end, because at that point we've unlocked everything. Um, also, this is how we learn about the Nada Spin, so that's great. The Nada Spin only will show up for, like, certain moments in the game. Anyway, there are gaps in this, but I'm not doing a gap checklist for this game. Although, so that's just happening. I'm not doing a gap checklist for this game because of one sole reason. And that reason is that there is no gap checklist in the game. I, look, I looked all around in the game. No gap checklist at all. So I don't know what all the gaps are, I don't know how many gaps there are in every level, and, uh, yeah, I am not going to completely blindside myself on every gap location, uh, without some kind of a list. So, without knowing how many gaps there are, I'm afraid we're just going to have to say no to gaps this time. Don't worry, I will show up a few little gaps here and there, in fact, like, some goals require you to get gaps. If you need to complete, you know, doing a certain spot or what have you for a goal, it merely requires you having to get a gap. So, we'll be getting a good few gaps, but there are a number of gaps that we're just not going to get at all. And that is because of the fact that this game legitimately doesn't know what the fuck it's wanting you to do. Like it's, it doesn't know what it wants to be, honestly. Like, fuck one and two, like I said beforehand, add a lot of shit into the games. Whereas this game got rid of shit. And, you know, we've talked about how American Wasteland got rid of shit, it got rid of Critical and all of that. This game got rid of more than American Wasteland did. And, uh, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm gonna be very fucking honest with you. I might even consider that this game is the worst of the GBA games. It's it's hard for me to just say that considering, you know, we just did a Fug 2 GBA some time ago, and Fug 2 GBA was bad. It was it was not fun. Especially when it came to the minigame abuse, when it came to the stupid fucking, you know, throwing, what, water balloons at people and all that shit. And when it came to that stupid shooter minigame, that lasted way too fucking long than it should've. Like, it sucked. That one sucked. But, there was shit going on, you know? 
there was some thought process put into that. Whereas of this, this is so half-assed, it's not even funny. And this would essentially be the last GBA game for Tony Hawk games. I think Downhill Jam uh, has a GBA game, and that was it. Like, that was the last one, I believe. But when it came to the Mainline series, um, this was the last one. Project A, Proving Ground, all of that. They would not have a GBA game because DS came in. And this game does have a DS port as well, it does have a DS version. And the DS version, very obviously, is better than this one. But that, besides that, besides that point, by the way, we have to find somebody now. Before I mention Hollywood Letters, here's another thing about this game. You can stack your goals. You don't have to get your goal done immediately. You can stack them and have multiple on top of each other. Like, here's this one over here with having to do a spawn transfer in this area. Which, uh, I can do alongside fighting Leroy. And there's also this skull over here, requiring me to get that gap over here and more of me grind up the stairs. The other two goals I had started are still started. So, you know, there is a lot here that I can still do. And because of that, it does make it fairly easy for me to stack this shit up and work for it in my own way. The only issue is if you leave the area, you have to go talk to these people again. Or if you talk to somebody who would progress the story, you would have to redo talking to these people again. Like this guy right here, I'm going to talk to him again. And uh, that guy wants you to grind the Hollywood sign. Oh, by the way, this dude right here. Not only do you complete the goal there by talking to him, you talk to him again, gives you a really easy one because chicken is right up here. Easy shirt. But yeah, the Hollywood sign one, I would recommend you wait until you get uh, full stats from this level, which is like one stat point for every single thing. Because you're going to need the speed and the air and shit to even reach those Hollywood uh, letters. Because that one is actually going to be a bit difficult. Also, as much as you're anywhere around here and you'll be fine. There you go, speed. Sometimes the goals don't make any sense to, you know, what you can get, but whatever. Here's Mindy. Mindy is usually the person taught to to progress the story, so... Keep that in mind. If you want to get all the other goals done before progressing the story, Talk to Mindy. And by the way, these cutscenes count as a goal. Talking to Mindy counts as a goal in itself. So just keep that in mind. If you only have two goals left, then all you're missing is talk to Mindy, and then talk to a person that would progress you into the next area and do their goal. All you have to do is complete every goal and have two left at that point. If you have two left, good. You can now continue on the story, talk to Mindy, do the bullshit, and you'll be able to complete all the goals from there. So I am missing about three goals. One of them is over here, by that PlayStation or what have you, 5,000 points. The points here are super easy. Uh, they will eventually get sort of difficult, but not that much. And over here, we have another gap one uh, with this guy jumping the sharks. To take care of this one, you want to go ahead and get some speed, get some special going on. And then use your empty to gain speed. And then go from this spot, jump over it, and land it. You have to get over to that little ramp there. Just land it, get the gap, and you're done. And here's the uh, 10,000 point goal there. Go to them, complete that. And, uh... Then you're pretty much nearly done at that point. Because all we gotta do now is head over to the warehouse because Mindy's waiting for us there. Uh, but first, you gotta use your speed here, all your stats. Get lucky if you jump here, really do what I'm doing here. The other side has a weird glitchy ramp. And then grind from one end of the Hollywood sign to the other so you get the Hollywood gap. 
jump left to get away from the ramp, otherwise you will eventually bail and land it, and there you go. That one's a tough one, but only because our stats are very low. But, you know, I'm getting them all out of the way in the area on the first go, so, you know, it'll be difficult that way. Here's the warehouse, by the way. This is our ranch, and, uh, essentially, it is a complete another dump. We need to clean this place up and get it fixed up. How do we do it? Progressing of the story is how we do it. So let's talk to Mindy over here, and let's progress through the story right now, shall we? Because if you check your uh, goals here, it says zero out of zero. When you complete the game, it will become zero out of eight. And the goals here are all going to be scores. So, it's kind of the aftermath goals in this area. But that's fine. Also, there, 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 and there. Thank you, Tony. Right there. So, yeah. The main thing here is to clean this place up, get it right back to where it should be, of looking really fucking cool and shit, and that's it, really. It's the same kind of story as American Wasteland, but very much different, in the fact it's on a ranch, it's a warehouse, and, um... It's not that good of a warehouse, honestly. And I got one more goal left, and that goal is uh, the main goal we have to go and do to press the story. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and you know show off all the you know the clothing options we have right now for doing all those goals. So this is gonna be my look for a while until we get some more unlocked clothing. So here's the person right over here, Paul Rodriguez. It's waiting for us. And, uh, yeah, we need a roofer. And the person we're looking for, we have to bring this bucket of tar to, without bailing, by the way, over at Beverly Hills, which is down below us. And Beverly Hills is actually the Beverly Hills schoolyard. And it literally is school two. And, by the way, you can fail this. There are a very rare few goals in this game where you can actually fail it. However... Almost every goal here you can't fail. I mean, you can just not do it, but you can't fail them. That one you can, but that's one of the rare exceptions. And by the way, we've done all the goals here in Hollywood. So we've done all the goals in Coho's, we've done all the goals in Hollywood. That's two levels done. We have about four more, I believe. Not many levels in this game. Not many levels in the DS version either, which has its own levels, by the way. Because there are three that are exclusive, and Coho's and this level are exclusive. And we'll be going through all of this shit next time in American Skateland GBA. Thanks for watching, everyone.